Welcome to Norfolk Perspectives. I'm Bob Batcher. And have you seen someone who did something above and beyond? Well, nominate them. And Officer Ali Williams and Yvette Brown are going to tell you why. Yvette, you're the uh, president of this, uh, the Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing just great. So Thank why you. should our residents ha have their eyes open and nominate somebody? Because most of the citizens and em city employees and police officers, they go about their daily lives just doing what they feel is the right thing. Mm -hmm. They look out for their neighbors, our law enforcement, our professionals who are always going above and beyond. And city employees, they could be riding around in the truck just doing their job and they see something that is amiss and they report it. And these people should be recognized for the extra efforts that they take to make our city safe. Right. Officer Williams, we're not really talking about the, the work of Spider-Man or those other superheroes. It's just kind of doing the right thing, right? Yes, yes. We, we like to use the model of you see something, say something. And a lot of times, as uh, you've had mentioned, a lot of times we have a lot of unsung heroes. And you're doing, you're doing something, and a lot of times you need to be recognized for it. And because it encouraged you to do something good even on the second time around. Okay, now I've also got to mention there's going to be some good food involved in this too. Oh, yes. So because it's an awards dinner. Yes, it is. Where's it going to be? It's going to be at the Double Tree by Hilton. And that's 1500 North Military Highway. Yes. It's right over by the airport. And so good eating. But what kind of people are you looking for to be nominated? We're looking for everyday citizens. Yes. We're looking for youth, we're looking for law enforcement, city employees, city employee groups, and that one Barbara Davis yes. volunteer award. Yes. Uh, now Barbara's done some, did some awesome to work in crime prevention, didn't she? Yes, she yes. did. Okay, now the other thing besides having a good dinner, that whoever wins the award will be invited to come back on Norfolk Perspectives, too. Because oh, I've had right. the pleasure of talking yes. with them quite often. That's awesome. I remember a couple of years ago, there was a youth that, that had been, that just kind of blew my socks off. Yes. I was surprised. Uh, she was such an adorable little girl. Yes, I remember when she won and they called her up on the stage, she just broke down crying. Yes. And this young lady was in elementary school and what she did was talk to us fellow students about bullying mm -hmm. and how wrong it was. And yes, she should have been awarded and I'm glad she was. Yeah. And that's kind of youth that we're looking for. Yes. So officer, it, kind of by recognizing people who have done things in the past, we're also kind of sending a message out that it's important to get active yes. in crime prevention. Because yes. it really begins with the people who are watching our show. The citizens, yes indeed, Bob. Yes, indeed. It's very important if you see something um, that needs to be recognized to nominate, uh, especially like Yvette said, our youth. A lot of times they're doing things that it just goes unrecognized. And we want to make sure that they realize that what they're doing is something good. Okay. Now, I've got, to, I've got to come back. I kind of hesitated, Yvette, when I mentioned the, the organization you're president of, because I always know it as CPAN. Yes. And when you read it out, I mean, Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association of Norfolk. Yes. What is that? We are a citizen group who supports the Norfolk Police Department mm -hmm. and we do that by serving at their police functions, whether it's a police recruit graduation, whatever they need us to do, we're there to assist. The award ceremony, if there's any proceeds from that, goes to our scholarship fund and our scholarships are for active duty law enforcement officers whose children are furthering their education. And we give out three scholarships a year, and I'm proud to say we have raised it to $1,500 per scholarship. Wow, you know, it's really kind of a full package because you kind of start it with the end story, yes. and that's the scholarship. What does that mean to the officer? That means, that means Knowing a it's lot. Available. For, for, for my, even for myself, having a, a child who's in college, being able to apply for a scholarship through these police uh, through this organization is awesome, awesome. So, and a lot of officers, their children have received those awards. Yeah. Now, that's being kind of humble here because it's not a matter of just a group of people who decide to start meeting. <laughs> I mean, you went through uh, how many week class? 
Well, when I went through it was 12 weeks. Now it's 13 weeks and it's one night a week. And it's from 6.30 to approximately 9, 9.30. And anybody who's a resident of Norfolk can sign up and go to that, right? Yes, whether you can either live or work in the city of Norfolk, and you, as long as you're not a felon, you, you may mm -hmm. attend. Now, I, yes. I knew somebody that went through, and the whole reason she went through is because she could shoot at the shooting range. But there's more to it than just that, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, a lot is. more. It's awesome for uh, citizens to go through that the class because it gives you a better perspective of what we do as police officers it gives you a much more better understanding right. of it yeah, so. so so it's really been again you can uh, call or how do you sign up for the it's it's on the CPAM website um, which we've been scrolling yes. so you're yes. off the hook on yes, that one thank you. <laughs> so okay so the uh, nominations now yes get them in and then the dinner is going to be on March 21st at 2000 uh, 2016. It's yes. a new year. Yes. yes. At yes. 6:30 p.m. Okay. And uh, what are they serving? <laughs> you almost got me there. You're going to have to come and find out. But I can guarantee it's going to be an excellent dinner. Yes. Well, I know I've um, I've been several years, and it's really special to see the people who are really committed to keeping your neighborhoods uh, safe. But it really is a, a full community that needs to come together. Yes. And, uh, and look out for our neighbors one on one. Yes, Bob. So, and I want to end by saying thank you to you, officer. Some people are saying, gosh, he looks familiar. Normally you're here in uniform. Yes. You've, uh, you've had some health issues, but you're yes. still in there committed. Still committed. Making it happen. Still committed, Bob. Thanks a lot. Yes, indeed. Okay, if you want to know what our community needs in the future, or you want to have a part to play in that, you can stay tuned for our next guest with the health department. Be right back.